Is the unnamed tavern named unnamed tavern? Is unnamed tavern named unnamed tavern, or is it a tavern that's not been named? Yeah, it takes it and takes it. I didn't. I didn't do my thing. I don't. I don't have my thing plugged Make in. Like, why away. are you black? Stop, ah! stop doing that. Insert check racist here. Thanks for the two dollars, by the what way. The <clears throat> fuck. All right. So. And thank you for the compliment. Hey. Also, uh, okay. free Hong Kong. Fuck off, Blizzard. A Hong Kong <laughs> for Blizzard, like like the game company. Yes, exactly that. Because uh, they banned oh, a guy God. from their esports tournament. For saying freedom for Hong Kong because yeah, it was yeah, a cool statement, that. and also because they sell lots of games in China. They definitely do. Yeah. Blizzard, Blizzard, just be taking L's left, right, and center. A Hong Kong court convicts four people um, of rioting over the storming of the legislature in the 2019 protest. So I don't think we were doing this show at the time, but I'm pretty sure all of us kind of no, talked no. about and mentioned the the uh, and have mentioned in the past on this show. The protests that were happening in Hong Kong in yeah. 2019. Yep. So it turns <clears> out <throat> the court convicted four people. Imagine that. You know that thing that the, the the Trumpers like to complain about to be like, hey, our people are being the January 6th people are being unfairly. Uh, oh, you got another glass of that? Yes. You know, what? I'm gonna get another glass of wine margarita because. Do it. I don't know. Uh, I guess. Klingon Hordekaj which of course is Klingon for everyone wants me to start speaking Klingon. Actually, no, that would be Klingon Hordekaj So, so, so <laughs> as much as the January 6th people like to complain that, hey, their people are being unfairly uh, treated by the government and unfairly held in captivity, as in that's like a thing that Trump is starting his rallies with, in actual real life, where that's actually maybe really happening, Hong Kong court convicts four people for rioting over the storming of the legislature in 2019. Hey, if you want a real conspiracy, go find one. They're all over the place. A Hong Kong court convicted four people Thursday for rioting over the storming of the city's legislative, count, uh, legislative council building at the height of the anti-government protests more than four years ago. The break-in on July 1st in 2019, the 22nd anniversary, don't give a shit, hundreds of protesters swarmed uh, into the legislature that night, defacing pictures and smashing furniture. Some spray-painted slogans in the chamber and painted their over-the-territory's emblem on a wall before vacating the site as riot police cleared uh, surrounding streets with tear gas and then moved inside the legislature eventually spent about 36 million hong kong dollars or 4.6 million dollars american on repairing the damages oh no people over property obligatory insert here uh six defendants included gregory wong the guy's name is gregory are you serious Look, hong kong has a long history of having been owned by the british so there's a lot of weird British stuff going on. To there. be fair, I did skip over the British colonies return to China. It was one of the, I did. Uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> when I, well, look, when I was there, it was right, right before the switchover, as far as I remember. No, mm -hmm. no, it was right after. But there was like Victoria Street, and like lots of the street names had like were named after like famous British people, and it was weird. And like you go to the uh, city hall. And it looked like something you would find in Great Britain, except that the top of it was a really good dim sum place where I ate way too much cuttlefish tentacles because they were absolutely delicious. <laughs> but, oh um, my God. no, I did so many cuttlefish tentacles. Every time the cart came by and there were cuttlefish tentacles, I was like, yes, all of them right here, right now. Are they Put so? The I assume that different tentacles taste differently. And I've read a lot of, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And so, like, do they do, do each tentacles taste differently? Because I feel like that should be a niche thing that I start working on as soon well, as this stream is over and start I, and make an entire like written out story with pictures about somebody b tasting different tentacles and deciding on which one's the best. Uh, yes, and maybe Funimation okay. and, and say that. Uh, yeah, sure. Each tentacle definitely tasted differently, and you should. And I can pull on your. On can I pull off off of your expertise in tentacle tasting? Uh, sure. Yeah, go for it. Um, that's not a fair, though, project. Cuttlefish are like very small, and so when I was eating the cuttlefish tentacles, it was a ring of like all the tentacles from the entire cuttlefish all at once. 
Huh? And they were oh. they were deep fried in this mm. salty batter with like that a marinade really that they had been soaked in. And oh, yeah. sounds good. Okay, but on also Thursday, there was, like, pork and good. shumai. We would rather talk about food than politics. On Thursday, I, Judge Li Cheng Ho, oh sorry, Li Chai Ho, yeah, Chi found Bo Chi. Is that not what I said? Did yeah. I say Chai? You said Chai. Li, you said Chai, which is Li Chi Ho. Found, I can barely speak English. Found four of the six defendants, including Gregory Wong, guilty of rioting. Um, Wong Ka Ho and Ma were acquitted of the rioting charge, but were convicted for unlawful entry into legislature. Lee said in his written judgment that uh, there were there was directive to ask all people to leave. Quote: I can't I can't see how the defense can distort the meaning of the word and exclude journalists from everyone. He said he added that. It was a wrong idea for Wong Ka Ho to think that reporters can stay there to document the developments. During the trial, Gregory Wong said he was at the scene to deliver charges, uh, sorry, chargers to a reporter, but the judge challenged his argument saying he had hugged a protester before leaving the chamber as an expression and? of support. That's <laughs> is... not... That's... Oh. Remember where I said that the, there's actual real conspiracies going on about people quote unquote rioting and people protesting against their governments, and we should probably not focus on this idiots of January 6th and insurrectionists, and should maybe focus on where this is really happening and where a government is actually trying to suppress its people. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Landon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. So as much as it's interesting about these four people of conviction, um, I think with the bigger picture going on here is what the Chinese Communist Party has done to, to Hong Kong. Yes. Um, the last link I put in there, and this relates back to this conviction because part of how they've been convicted now, right? Um, if you yep. look at that last link I put in our private chat, Hong Kong has passed a new national security bill that was passed unanimously by all the shills of the Chinese Communist Party, and it has fairly wide-ranging draconian things. Um, it, 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 it jailed people who damaged public infrastructure, like these folks, um, as well as endanger national security for at least 20 years or life. Um, and, and, and so the, so the, so the 2019 protesters are being convicted under this new law, right? So one of the things that, that China likes to do is pass laws after the facts and apply it to people there. Um, oh, and, and oh, wow. that's another a problem. thing as well is that the, the bill covers actually a wider range of offenses, including for example, uh, bans on external interference or significantly hardened positions. You know, for example, um, uh, that, that, that if, they, if they view that if you have a document, you're from Hong Kong and you put it on, on, on the web and it's deemed to be particularly sensitive, not even, not even classified, um, you can be convicted in this law. Um, uh, also understand that, that this, this, this Hong Kong law applies to you. Right? It, is, it is not limited to the territory of Hong Kong. Um, the fact that we are having this discussion yeah. is, is certainly deemed to be uh, offensive and, and, and against the, 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 the interests of the Chinese Communist Party. If you, if you transit in the Hong Kong airport um, and you have been deemed to be somebody who has about run offense of this law, even if you're not a Chinese citizen, you can be arrested and detained, and people are being arrested and detained. So let's say you're flying from Mumbai, India to uh, Tokyo, and you'd have a stopover in Hong Kong. Not even, not even exit the thing, but stopover and, and transit, right? You're, yeah, you're, I was about to ask that question. Facial identity. You, yep. They use facial identity and other things to determine who you are, and they then can arrest you if you've run afoul of this of this law. Remind um, me and being, when I'm Go ahead. Remind me next time I'm planning to travel to India via Hong Kong, um, I will not shave my beard for, like for three months before that travel. <laughs> and, and so or, so so or just travel so through doing, Japan, maybe. I mean the the the, the and understand that, that that for example you know, you can be convicted of this law if 
if, for example, you have um, posted something which is considered to be um, antithetical to the Chinese Communist Party. Um, you can be... <laughs> well, I'm screwed. You can be... We are fucked. Yes. And, and it applies also to, to journalists as well as citizens. If you were to take a document, for example, somebody was arrested, supposedly, of taking a document and having, um, you know, they talk about air, air pollution in China. Now, that's a public available thing, but it was deemed to be offensive to the Chinese Communist Party and, and the person could be subject to arrest. So, so what you're again, saying to me is reality is offensive to the Chinese Communist Party. Well, oh. and this is a, this is a, this is a, yes. this is a big problem of, of, of there. I mean, in that culture, face is, 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 is very important, but I'll have to say that the Chinese Communist Party is more than lost face. They have no face, right? The fact that Chinese Communist Party is, right. is, is, is pushing the cult of President Xi, otherwise known as Emperor Winnie the Pooh, the fact that they have of get over that. done a lot of destruction to Chinese culture, the fact that they have taken their nine dash line and said, this big chunk of international waters is ours because someone said so. Um, the fact that they have decided that the, the sovereign nation of Taiwan is somehow theirs, to me is something that they've lost faith over entirely, right? Um, hey guys, right you know, for dinosaur? It, 2024, I will recognize Taiwan as a nation. Fuck China. Well, fuck the Chinese yes. Communist Party. Well, no, and, and, uh, and, 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 and they, yeah. now, the other thing, by the way, that the Chinese Communist Party does, and they'll probably do here, is, is they'll say that my statements are somehow racist, right? The fact that I am oh, okay. criticizing and condemning the Chinese Communist Party is somehow racist. And that's how low they have to sink. The fact that the Chinese Communist Party reveres Mao Zedong a bloodthirsty murderer tells you yeah. something about their lack of faith. Right? So, so, so down just, the Chinese Communist Party, support people who are being oppressed in that area um, and, and you know, do not travel into Taiwan, do not go to China, period, end of story. So just to be clear, just because of this show, we're all fucked. Not just yes. the people on the show. What can I you, say? You're welcome. Can you watching, welcome? if they find out you watched the show and commented, don't fucking go to China. You might accidentally put yourself in danger. Not even transit through, right? Stay don't on. go, don't, Stay don't take a layover in China. Don't involve yourself in China. <sighs> don't do China. This isn't, this isn't a joke as funny as I am normally. Don't do China. Don't hey, do it. Remember that, remember that time that Great Britain what? signed an agreement with the government of China to return Hong Kong, except it was a different government than the current government yep. in mainland China? And mm -hmm. the government they actually signed the agreement with was in Taiwan. They should have handed oh, yeah. Hong Kong over to Taiwan. Yeah. Oh my God! Can we hand Taiwan over to Hong Kong? Can we do that? Is that something we can well, do? I mean, us, ha us hand Hong Kong over no. to Taiwan. There we go. I said it backwards. Us four? No. Could the international community do it? Probably. Probably. Why is it? But then they would Why lose access it? to all that cheap Chinese steel and whatnot. Oh, my Wait, iPhone will be more expensive if they mark it up on top of what they've already marked it, it up from. Might actually be unavailable. Oh no! So, Why so they it? have a broad. Wait, wait, wait! Long, Ma no, Landon, Manya. wait! Manya's gotta go. <laughs> and Manya, then you're a little quiet. I don't know why. Sorry, but Landon. It's chaotic. And All right, I'm go ahead, good. please. Um, please go ahead. I want to hear what you have to say. I'll turn her up a little. Why is it that? Why is it that when there's there's like talk about like sharing or returning regions, you know, or 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 something like that? It's always the fucking British. Everything's why? Britain. It was well, all Britain the whole they, time. They, they were the ones who did the most, like, I'm going to conquer this, but it's okay because I signed a contract with the governments that I conquered it from. That's, that's we why. got Landon. they did the most of that. So, uh, again, the law, and these people have been convicted under that law, or since under that law, um, they define external interference as something which is, which is punishable under this law. 
they define, for example, something like, and so what we're talking about, criticizing the Chinese Communist Party, is external interference that we could become guilty of it. We also talk about the notion. Actually, I have a question. Um, uh, this might clarify something for me. Uh, America has a has a rule of sorts. I don't want to say it's a law because my my understanding of this is vague. So I'm going to be a little bit vague in my question. So my question might be malformed. So please correct me. Um, there's a rule in America about foreign influence in American politics. So what does that mean if there's a Canadian commenting or a New Zealander commenting like uh, like commentators on online that are international or internationally available if they're disparaging or talking about who is good to vote for and who isn't good to vote for in American elections and how that applies I'm sorry or if it applies I don't understand I don't understand. So Amer- America's no, like no foreign anybody's allowed to fuck around with our election but if I well, may, I'm being Canadian, make content mm-hmm. about what's going on in Canadian political parties, and I influ- and my the majority of my followers or the people who are subscribed to me are American. Is that me, a Canadian who's an outsider, influencing American policies or American voters? My, and in that case, does that count as interference? My understanding is if you're not like actually buying like ad space on American media. And you're not like actively trying to. So I can be. I'm allowed to be convincing, but I'm not allowed to bribe people. That is my understanding. However, I am not a lawyer. There. So there is the the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act um, that, among other things, would say that that you're not you know that kind of interference, corruption is is there. But 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 that's a little different thing. In mm-hmm. the United States, um, external influence in in political elections is unfortunately common, becoming much more common. Well, that's I why mean, Facebook um, was pulled you... on in like to have a conversation with with Congress, wasn't it? It's why they were getting interviewed. Yeah, or... if you, if you look at what, yeah. what Vladimir Putin is trying to do within the United States, um, he's not pro Trump. He's not pro Biden. He is anti U.S. And is and trying to foment dissent. The same thing is doing. What's in, the in difference Canada, between right? anti-U.S. and pro-Trump? I don't get it. <laughs> and, and, and in Canada, they, they're 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 finding groups that have a have a, 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 a some complaints and pouring fuel on that to try to you know destabilize and, and agitate. I mean, I also understand, um, and 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 Q makes a good point in the chat and says the law is more directed at financial blackmail and extortion, et cetera, that type of yes. influence, not just I'm convincing. Yeah. So as an individual, so sure. Again, okay. the kind of strange party has Thanks. done something where they have this broad definition of state secrets, right? The normal you'd say, well, what you know, if you if you, if you do if you essentially protecting state secrets, say what does that mean? We're not talking about some some secret military document. It means something as simple as documents that cover economic, social, and technological developments in China. An example is if you were to publish documents describing the collapse of Evergrande, the real estate Ponzi scheme in China, and, and, and you publish data about that, that, even though that data is public, you can be convicted of the broad definition of, of state secrets. It, it is it is really and, and it is a to me it's a mark of the lack of even face it is a mark of shame in the Chinese Communist Party that they have to do this and by the way the Hong Kong legislator passed it unanimously and clapped and had a whole bunch of things there because there are now a bunch of Chinese Communist Party shills oh, so here's, since, here's what uh, I'm getting oh sorry yeah go ahead you go ahead first, okay and then I'm gonna here's what I'm getting jump us over Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is literally a documentary about China <laughs> wow! If you don't get that, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh, 